Well, ladies and gentlemen, they're not a traditional farm animal, but as you can see, they're interesting and good looking and people love them. We're talking about the llamas. Ladies, nice to see you. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Dana. Hi, Dana. And who's your animal? My llama is Starfire. How old is Starfire? Starfire is eight years old. Welcome, Dana. And you are? Heidi M. Kerr. Hi, good to see you. What about your animal? My llama's name is Little Becky, and she's 11 years old. So why the big disparity in size between them? This is the first thing I notice. Um, they're both llamas, but Little Becky is a miniature llama. Ah, and they're bred that way? Mm, yes, but it also depends on how they're born. It mainly depends on how many inches is at the withers. What's the withers? The withers is the area that connects between the neck and the basically the first two legs. Oh, OK. The withers are also uh, Chris's um, neighbors in Woodbury, but I don't think that's fantastic, relevant right now. Fantastic people, yeah. yes. Uh, well, tell us a little bit. I mean, there's, there's such a, a multi-purpose use animal, uh, and they've really kind of exploded in popularity in Minnesota, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. Um, one use for llamas is just for pets, and they're obviously used for showing and 4-H. Um, some other uses are guarding and packing. They're also used for their fiber. That's why you can see they're sheared right here. No. Guarding, like as like like a guard llama. Yes, a guardian llama. They can guard sheep, goats, <laughs> cattle, poultry. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I gotta say, I, I was keeping my distance initially because last time you guys were here with the llamas, one of them spit on me. Uh, can you tell me, is, did I trigger them, or what makes a llama spit like that? It actually kind of depends on which one it is. Some days it's just having a bad day, other times it could be you look like someone that rubbed them the wrong way. <laughs> now you're getting more to the point. Yeah, here we go. Another is uh, someone tried taking their feet away, but sometimes they're just one or another is just a jerk. There's one in the crowd. Yeah, yeah we got a few of those around. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's nice of you to blame it on the llama. Uh, so we saw some <laughs> video earlier of llamas going through an obstacle course. Are, are they bright? Can they be trained to do that kind of stuff? Yeah, definitely. We train them in obstacle for um, so we can use them for packing just to build trust with our animals. Um, there's lots of different obstacles they can go through. And we also do obstacles to train them for going out and talking in the public. Um, things like walking through crowds and going over ramps. How cool. Would you mind if Chris got close to both your llamas because we'd like to... Oh, come on. We'd just like to... Are, are you guys good? Yeah. All right. Very good. How about you? You going to spit on me? Oh, you see that? Okay. Very good. Thinking about good. it. Good. I'm all good at these llamas. Ladies, congratulations. Thanks for the education. You have beautiful animals. Of They're course. gorgeous. Yeah. Very